The travel movement first appeared in Mexico City in uh, 2000, 2001. At the beginning, it sounded very indigenous, as if it was influenced by the Aztecs themselves. But by the time it got to Monterrey, El Tribal Guarachero had been born. Es un DJ de los mejores. Alberto. Es el más chido de la tribal. Yo creo que la moda empieza cuando eh, empieza la música. Ahora el tribal trajo su lo, lo que es la, la bota picuda. Nosotros la empezamos a sacar aquí y ya se pasó, se pasó a extender a, a los alrededores. El tribal guarachero era en mixes prehispanic and African sounds with bass lines that if cumbia actually had a placenta. It's like, boom, there you have it. It's just amazing. The, the, I can't even describe it. The boots. Well, I don't know how this whole started, but this music influenced these people to extend the tip of their boot. And the word on the street is that bigger is better. Um, the pointier, the better. Um, some of them may have a little curl on them. Al principio era lo, la bota normal, lo que era el pico eh, normal. Lo empezaron a aumentar y aumentar y aumentar hasta que ya se salió de, de control. The competitions, man, these things are getting a little bit out of control. Just last week, I was in Monterrey. This 12-year-old kid is dancing with, I hope it was his brother or something, um, but the crowd's into it, freaking the music's blasting, and on the sun, this kid just starts taking off his clothes and taking his belt and doing all these provocative moves. And, you know, I have nothing against provocative moves, but when you're 12 years old and everyone's cheering you on and you're playing with your belt in between your legs, and then, the, his partner, who was older, starts backing it up straight into him. I mean, what can I say? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. For me, um, it's all about the music, and if the people want the music, um, at the end of the day, that's what really matters. We good? All wrapped up? Thanks. Thanks again, guys. You guys are awesome. Peace.